is Michael Liebert, uh, uh, the professor at the Friedrich Alexander University, and is going to speak on the theme of uh, Euclidean in human space explorations. Uh, so that sounds like very cool uh, stuff. Michael sends his apologies. So um, Victoria yeah. Kennedy would be speaking. Okay, Victoria, excellent. Presentation. So Victoria, are you, Thank you. Are you ready to go? All right, so do you want to share your screen? Yeah, I can share my screen. All right, okay, please go ahead. Just let me know if you guys can see it. Okay, and everyone can see my screen okay? Yes, yes, thank you. That's great. Okay, so thank you for the introduction. So as mentioned, my name is Victoria Kennedy. I work out of Trent University, and my research is focusing on the enhanced euglena gracilis cadmium tolerance with elevated levels of sulfur and nitrogen. So just a bit of background about why we're doing our research. So industrial wastewater can come from a variety of sources, including battery production, the manufacturing of pesticides, as well as specifically mine tailing ponds, and these produce wastewater that is heavily polluted with toxic metals such as cadmium, lead, mercury, and even arsenic. And the current methods we have to clean up these waters is actually ineffective and often more expensive. This led to research into using euglena species in order to, and other biological organisms in order to facilitate an easier and more environmentally friendly cleanup of some of these waters. This research began in 2003, and they actually found that you can pre-treat euglena gracilis cells with mercury chloride in order to increase their cadmium chloride tolerance. The research was expanded on in 2017 by some of my colleagues and collaborators, and where they found that euglena biomass was able to bind metals and they performed metabolomic analysis and identified specific metal binding compounds. And they found that the compounds were rich in nitrogen and sulfur, and they have the hypothesis that they can alter the lignin and amine biosynthesis pathways. And overall, the altering nitrogen or sulfur could actually influence some of these metal binding compounds being produced by euglena. This leads to my specific research, which I have two research objectives. So the first objective was to pre-treat euglena gracilis separately with nitrogen and sulfur, and then challenge it with cadmium and assess tolerance. And then the second objective is to identify potential genes synthesizing these metal binding compounds through the use of RNA-seq and RTQ-PCR. So my preliminary data for objective one, I pre-treated euglena gracilis cells with various concentration or with concentrations of elevated magnesium sulfate, heptahydrate, and ammonium nitrate. These were then pre-treated for a period of 44 days, being transferred into fresh media every four days. After this, they were introduced into media with various concentrations of cadmium chloride and then treat, subcultured every four days. Every four days, cell viability was assessed using Tripan Blue. And what we actually found is that if looking at the non-pre-treated cells, there is actually a reduced tolerance to cadmium. There was a reduction in the concentration of living cells as a result of exposure to cadmium. However, when you pre-treat these cells with sulfur and nitrogen, as you can see in both the center and the graph to the right, there was actually an increased tolerance to the various concentrations of cadmium up to 25 micromolar cadmium consistently for periods of up to eight days, as there was no significant decrease in the concentration of overall living cells. So this leads to kind of the future experiments and where the research needs to go to from here and what I'll be doing. So the next steps are any seek analysis to identify transcript level changes that are results of this pretreatment and ex the cell's exposure to cadmium chloride. This will involve isolating RNA from both non pretreated sulfur pretreated, nitrogen pretreated cells exposed to no cadmium and 25 micromolar cadmium chloride. The, this concentration is picked because you want a, a decent amount of living cells in order to actually be able to successfully isolate RNA. Once that's done, I'm going to do set RNA seq. And once the sequence is here, since we do not have a reference genome, it'll be doing a de novo assembly of a transcriptome and mapping the reads to this transcriptome in order to identify differential transcript levels. And future research can be done using go-term analysis in order to help characterize some of these transcripts and group them together based on similarities. I just want to leave off with this final point. So the, inf the kind of overarching information we can learn from this research is a crucial understanding as to the bio biology behind metal tolerance within euglena gracilis, and this can lead to the potential for optimizing euglena gracilis cells and potentially for use in future bioremediation efforts. Thank you. Thank you very much, and uh, um, 